The sun sets out. Good day to you. They say you're the best blacksmith in the whole region. That metal you've tempered never breaks. Ha! Ah, nothing but old wives' tales. Of course, some of my pieces have broken, but only ever here at the smithy. No one's ever returned anything for you to rework, though, have they? Not that I recall, but I can't remember everything. Father was a blacksmith all my life. He always stoked up the furnace till it roared gently and you could smell the heated iron. And he plunged it into the water and that was that. Fine words and no mistake. I do it a little differently. I heat until the metal is two, three shades shorter of bright yellow. I ease up on the bellows and after a Lord's Prayer and a Hail Mary, off it goes into the water. It's, um... It's strange to think that I'll never help him out with it again. Our forge will stay burned out forever, unless I go back to the trade myself. It would be a shame not to, lad. Working iron is a worthwhile thing. Godly. It makes life easier for folk. And, let's be honest, you can make a decent living doing it. Thank you. It was good to remember how my life used to be. Maybe you'll have the good fortune to return to your trade. I've heard it said that you're a warlock. What? Why the fuck would they say that? They say when you temper steel, you chant spells, and then nothing of yours ever breaks. Spells? <laughs> That's a good one. It's no spell. Just a rhyme to time myself so I don't hold the steel hair too long. I'd like to ask you about the temper. And I'd say I've nothing much to tell you. Let's stop talking about temper. And when you quench, there's nothing special you do. Well, that depends. I heat it up again after that, but not so it starts to glow. I just hold it like this at the edge of the furnace for a while, and then quench it again. You quench twice? Yes, although there's less quenching needed the second time, it doesn't get quite so hot. And how does that help? I don't rightly know. I found out about it by chance. I got caught short, needed to piss so bad, I left the rod resting by the furnace by mistake. That's how I found out if you quench twice, it doesn't break as easily. I no idea why. But I've tried it enough times to know it works. Take care now. My mind to call the guard.
The sun sets out across the skies He loses his way to the forge he flies Kuttenberg is far, far away Kuttenberg is far, here I'll stay My breath is short, my feet are sore I'd buy a horse, but I am poor The sun may burn, the sun may shine But you not with a darling mine Now, for the last time the sun, he hides behind a cloud. His heat goes cold and his fire goes loud. He drowned the fish and broke its neck. Threw it down upon the deck. Fry your fish to the best. Fishy thighs and fishy breasts. So, from the beginning, the sun sets out across the skies. He loses his way to the forge he flies. Kuttenberg is far, far away. Kuttenberg is far, here I'll stay. My breath is short, my feet are sore. I'd buy a horse, but I am poor. The sun may burn, the sun may shine, but you not with a darling mine. Now, for the last time. The sun, he hides behind a cloud. His heat goes cold and his fire goes loud. He drowned the fish and broke its neck. Threw it down upon the deck. Fry your fish, the fish head's best. Fishy thighs and fishy breasts. Back with the incense. Can we be good? Let's go to the cross in the bedroom. Jesus Christ, your clothes. Were you assaulted? Goodbye. In the looking for something around here. Come now. Huh. 
I hope I can be of help. Master Blacksmith, I think I know how the tempering gets done in Sasau. And what have you found out? Don't keep me on tenterhooks. Out with it. He heats it up to red, three steps away from yellow, and then stops heating, says the Lord's Prayer, and quenches. I'll be damned. That's pretty much what I do too. Except I just count. I'm just saying what I found out. That's as may be. But there must be something else he does differently if he does the quenching just like I do. He said he repeats the tempering straight after, but only warming up the iron, so it never even turns red. Tempering twice in a row? Why would he do that? He said it happened by chance once, and he noticed it made everything stronger, so now he does it that way all the time. Well, there's no harm in trying it out, is there? Are you satisfied? You did what I asked of you, so I'm at your service. And here's something to keep you going. Good luck, then. Yeah. Yeah. A tank of ale for me. Good day to you. Where do I go to sleep? That's easy. As soon as you go indoors. At the end of the room on the left, there's a... What's happening around? Ah, you know how it is. Them two rogues, Matthew and Fritz, have finally cleared off. No loss, I can tell you. Shy of work, the I hear they've made themselves at home in the tavern in the glade. Well, their custom I can do with that. Hey! Look out! Can you hear me? Good luck then.